Oh, all right, cool. Looks like we got a nice aperture. All right, let's go. Ugh. You gotta get comfy. All right, guys, what's up? It's the Knife Crazy here, and I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. This is my face. I look 12. I am almost 17, I promise. But what we're gonna do today is a little bit different. I'm going. I think I'm gonna be calling it either ranting about paintball or maybe more of a creative title down the road. You guys can help out with that. Uh, we'll see what happens. Basically, I'm only going to cover two topics today, and we will see how it goes. I literally only have two lines written down, and let's see what happens. All right, guys. All right, sorry about the jump cut. We'll see if they catch on. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But all right, let's go. The first, I guess we'll call it topic that I'm just going to start on and then go off on a tangent about is just the community in general. And by this, basically what I mean is just the paintball community as a whole. This isn't really necessarily connected to McCarter Brown, PEPB, PB Nation, anything in particular. It's more or less just what I think is wrong with the community right now and why it's tough for some people to get into the game. So yeah, uh, first thing that instantly came to mind when I thought about putting this in the video was on TechPB, I'm I'm very ac active on TechPB. I shouldn't say that. I'm the most active on there. I have an account on PB Nation. Never posted a thing. Oh, I only really ever look up things on there because, honestly, the the community's a little bit better and worse at the same time. But we'll get into that. But um, yeah. So TechPB, there was a kid, and I I forget what it was, but he was asking for let's say. I think he wanted a gun in like the 500 to 650 price range, something like that. Nothing major, just super simple. Basically, you're going to have biased opinions, and that's how it's going to go. I just wanted to know what people thought would be the best. And all I see are, and this also goes for a lot of things like what gun should I, what, what should my first gun be, blah, 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 blah. People get absolutely flamed for no reason on these forums. Like, I know everyone loves to agreed to that Mike said, and I kind of, to an, to an extent, agree to about the whole, you know, get the mask, get the blah blah blah, get everything else before you get your gun, and I understand why, it's, it's a good idea, personally, I think it's a good idea, it's just, what kind of a kid is going to want to buy everything else before he buys his gun? None. And if they have, I commend them, because I would, I didn't do that. I bought a pretty crappy mask. And a dangerous power G4. They were in the tank in the hopper. That was the that was the first purchase I ever made in paintball, other than actually going. And yeah, so that's the way I did it. And you know what? I'm still here. Did the mask suck? Yeah. But did I have a good time? Yeah. So I don't know why people like to freak out on other people when they say I want a first gun before I get my killer two hundred dollar mask. Like that's not how people buy things. It's just not. I I don't I don't understand why they're flamed either because then they don't come back. People wonder why there's so many accounts with one or two posts. Well, they ask a question, they get flamed and harassed, and they leave. They're pissed off. Pardon that. They simply don't want to have to deal with all the people on these forums that think they just know everything. And some of them do. But usually the ones that do, don't make those kind of comments. So, yeah, I think in general the community's a mess. Everyone thinks they're a guru and a helper and a leader, but I think a lot of times... If, from an outsider's view, we look like a bunch of six-year-old whiners, and I know everyone has been saying that for years, but I think the way that we need to fix the community is, quite simply, we need to stop flaming. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. That should be the rule on a forum, unless you're talking about simply a review standpoint. You should not call someone a noob or an idiot if they want to buy a gun before they buy a die I 4 It doesn't make any sense, and you're not gaining anyone in the community. Is the kid going to die because he uses a $20 mask compared to a $20 mask? No. He might fog up. He's not going to die. Just let him buy whatever he wants. The more guns that sell, the better off you are in the long run because there'll be more innovation, more money, more cash flow, and paintball. So I don't know why there's an issue. The next thing I guess I should say is talk about the actual communities in general, and this is kind of nitty gritty. Basically, I chose TechBB as my forum because for the most part, keep it that in mind when I'm about to say, this is very opinionated and whatever else you want to call it, I prefer TechPB. The reason why I prefer TechPB is because there are less people. And that sounds kind of weird and ridiculous, but hear me out. 
When you're on PB Nation, yes, there are more people that know what they're doing, but there are also a lot more people that have no idea what they're talking about. So, in general, you might, on Tech TechBB, if, if you ask a good question, you're still going to get your 10, 20, 30 replies in one night easy, maybe in an hour. On PB Nation, you're pretty much guaranteed that, and half of them don't make any sense, or are calling you a noob, or some other slur, you know, whatever you, whatever you want. Like, a anything that they can to either make your life worse, or because they had a bad day, or whatever, who knows why. That's just how they are in Tech PB, or uh, PB Nation, I apologize. It just seems like the overall maturity level, I'm not saying it's lower, I just think that there's more 12 year olds that have no idea what they're talking about than on Tech PB. Call me crazy? I don't know. And in general, Tech PB also, it's, it seems like it's more of an older crowd. I don't, I don't mean that necessarily in the actual age department, I mean in the metaphorical sense that people on Tech PB seem to have played more. It seems like, just in general, the amount of years played per head is a little bit higher. And that might not be true, it just seems like people are a little less quick to flame and harass on Tech BB, and I like that a little bit more. Even though I, I wouldn't bother me, it might bother other people, and I don't want to be part of something like that. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I think the way that we need to overall fix the community, and at least from an outsider's perspective make it look a little bit better, is use the golden rule. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. If you're not being constructive, you're being destructive. So, there. Quote me. If you're not being constructive, you're being destructive. But, yeah, so that's about it. I guess that's all I have to say on the uh, talk about forums. And on to the next one. Alright guys, this one is... Basically, I'm just going to more or less talk about why this is bad. I don't have a lot of information. It's more or less just me talking about... Right after I initially heard this, um, apparently, ANS Gear, the very popular website, ansgear.com, that it's probably the leading paintball retailer, actually I'm pretty sure it's the leading paintball retailer, in the world, has been, I guess you'll call it, M like MAP violations, or MAP, which is, oh, what does it mean? It means, um, something, it's manufacturer's advertise price, that's it. There we go. It's um, basically what that means is if Planet Eclipse sells you their guns so that you can sell them to the public, they're going to set up a map price. And basically what that means is it's a manufacturer's advertised price, which means that you are not allowed to advertise a price lower than what they said. So let's pretend you're looking at a The Knife Crazy Gun and I'm retailing it at $500.00. You know, I want your map at 500 So that means you cannot advertise a price lower than $500.00 USD. You know, if I don't get that technically, you can. But So basically what that means is I do not want you to advertise price lower. You can sell it lower, but I do not want you to advertise lower. Because in general, that means everyone will buy from you. And if... I don't understand why manufacturers do it. I'm assuming it's to literally keep up the value of their product. And it's almost a shame, I mean, it goes both ways, it really does help the manufacturer more than the consumer. But, regardless of that, ANS Gear has been violating map pricing set by manufacturers apparently for a long time. And MacDev was the company that I suppose is putting their foot down and saying that you will no longer be able to buy MacDev products from ANS Gear based on these map price violations and no response from the company. This was posted by, I believe, James at MacDev. It's maybe Isaac. It's something like that. It's on TechBB. You can look it up. I'll hopefully have it in the description. He, it's very short and brief, but he says that they will no longer be selling to ANS gear based on these map price errors. And he said one thing else, one other thing that really got to me, I guess. He said that as with other companies, they are not... My dog's gone. There are other companies that have been violated as far as map pricing is concerned, and MacDev is hoping that they will also take the charge against ANS gear, and I think this is where it becomes good. Map pricing in general, I feel, is somewhat gray area as far as good or bad for the consumer, but this is a good thing. ANS gear literally runs the show. They seem like they're the sole provider of 
where everyone gets their prices, information, yada yada yada. That's where most people buy, including myself. I am guilty of this too. Except I also do use Hustle Paintball. I like them a little bit more. Customer service is fantastic. But basically, a and gear is on top, and it's very hard for any other competition to move in. This is why I think MapDev and hopefully some other companies as well will be supporting the we'll call it anti ANS gear if they're going to keep violating map pricing. Because I would love if ANS gear got blacklisted and other companies were able to rise up such as Hustle Paintball or oh, what are the other ones? See that's the problem. I only know of two because only two are really even relevant for the most part. Hi Frisbee. That's my dog Frisbee. He's down there, you can't see him. But yeah guys, so I don't know. It, it's a mess. The cup it, there he is. Say hi! Say hi! Say hi! Crazy! Alright, like for the dog. You made it this far. And, uh, so yeah guys, I guess that's it. I guess my dog's telling me it's time to wrap it up. But, overall, I'd like to do a, almost a follow-up on just this part alone. See, by chance, what ends up happening if other companies start to back this blacklisting of ANS gear. Maybe MacDev will retreat and be, continue to sell. Who knows? We'll see what happens. I don't want this to really be a, a drama-based series, but... Maybe if, uh, you know, we can keep up on this, it'd be pretty interesting. And tell me what you guys think about this whole rants thing. It's basically just me rambling about paintball, whatever I want in the world of paintball, or anything that can even somewhat be relevant to the sport. So, yeah, guys, that's about it. My name's The Knife Crazy. Get you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye. Wait, there you guys are. Bye. Bye.